All right, Steve, it's kind of dry here. We're going to use some of, uh, what is the name of your product here? Uh, Pure Pro Pro Resin. One or two pumps. One or two pumps. One or two pumps. This is the Argan uh, oh, kind of right. living in foam. Mm -hmm. That is a good tiny tool, no? Mm -hmm. Let me do some of this. Why? Because I'm going to be using razor. No? I'm going to do some razor. I'm going to do some shears. Uh, because I'm... I mean, if you were doing this class and I tried to sell the shears, I'll be using all the shears. But because I'm doing this for you guys to actually see a little bit of the whole concept, I'm going to do a little bit of razor so you guys can see the potential of that. They're cool with you, David. I'm going to do both the razor and the shears. Perfect. Obviously, you know, I mean, I want to talk to you guys about the shears because at the end of the day, do you have a really cool tools to do this job? You know, this, you know, something was, you know, and I, I haven't talked to David about this because I haven't talked to him. But, you know, he, he made a comment like, you know, it's maybe we're not for everybody. And I, the fact is, yes, we're for everybody. Because if you're a mechanic and I want to be a mechanic, do I have to have good tools? I don't care. You don't have to spend that much money on tools of your life if you're a higher status. You need a good pair of shears, a good pair of combs, a good blow dryer. You need that. So why don't it, you know, save some money and really buy you something that's really good? But if we can convince people of that, this is because they don't understand. We haven't given you know good value on what we really do. They need the freaking tools. So don't tell me you cannot spend five hundred dollars on a freaking shear. Yeah, you can. Stop taking freaking Starbucks. Save it up and get yourself some good tools so you can have Starbucks whatever the hell you want because now you do better hair. You know? That's what I'm talking about. So let's say let's say Steve. Let's say Steve our uh, wannabe here on the ribs here. Wants to do a little bit kind of side, is it side part a little bit? Africa? I don't know, well, let's say side part, okay. I'm just gonna make it more complicated because if this center, you know, it's a little bit, you see? I just wanna give you a little more information. So let's say it's kind of, okay. Have you guys ever heard about the haircut called the flow haircut? The flow haircut. Yeah, the flow haircut. No, 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 my hair is called the flow haircut. All okay, right, so you guys don't know about this? All right, so since I'm doing the part, Okay, just one person of you guys. Just look at on, on Google right now. Look at flow haircut. Please, please do that. Because the problem is if people come in asking you for a flow haircut, you don't know what a haircut is, you know, and that's the haircut right now, well, then it's kind of flow, no? I want a flow haircut. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so the popular haircut right now for men, that they are on the median land, that they are not the short haircut that you guys do, it's called the, the mullet, the flow haircut, and the wolf cut. Okay, those are the haircuts that they are popular right now for medium to long hair, okay? Flow haircut. You guys saw that? The flow haircut there? Yeah. You guys see it on Google? It yeah. shows up, no? So it's a thing. It's not a just imagine thing, no? Does it look like my haircut? Yes. Okay. That's called the flow haircut, okay? So it's popular because I have it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you guys look at me, you know, if you guys do some sets of me. variation. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. So if you guys, if you guys look at my, my pictures when I, you know, obviously I try to be on fashion. So when I, when I was running the 1821 Crowley line and, uh, Gerard, you guys noticed that Gerard knew about my, my product? Yeah. Well, he knows about my product because he works at Salon Century. And my product gets sold at Salon Century. So you can buy 1821, my product line, Salon Century. You can buy an Alta as well. And it actually sells out a lot. Um, it's like I said, it's, it's, it's a product created for men. Um, they have a, tobacco, a sweet tobacco body wash. It's a three in one. Very good. Um, Okay, I really didn't make it on my garage, okay? We start sitting out of my garage a lot, man. <laughs> so just, you're, you're making the fit way better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so check this out. So first we're going to do dividing the hair from the front to back, okay? Now let's just go into the cookie, okay? So let's talk about the cookie. Now, most of us will part the hair behind here. Are you guys comfortable with that? Front to back. Now, why we part the hair behind here? Make up, make up the, um, for the fall, by, um, for the length yeah. on a parietal ridge. Right. So that's a good, that's a good tap. But what is the reality? Because we were taught that. Right. Because you were mm. taught that, and that's what you do. Okay, that's okay. Because you know, until you don't know better, you don't know better. It's like, you don't know better, you don't know better. It takes one minute to learn something, it could take you 20 years to figure it out. Now I'm going to show you something that you might have seen that you haven't figured out yet. Have you guys ever seen somebody pulling the comb on the top of the head? Mm. Yes. So that's the flap, 
and that's the curve. That we normally do this to divide, to do the banks. Now, if you want to do a bank, big bang, you want a triangle bank, you look at that, the highest point, that's a good place to start dividing so you don't get any hair pieces that go forward or whatever, no? Well, you know you can do the same thing, put in the common design, and that's going to tell you where the curve goes from front to back, like flat to back. That happens to be the Anamanikin head, you know where it sits? Behind here. So that's why we were taught that. Because it makes sense of this head. Do you think your head is the same as the mannequin head? No. Now check out this, guys. Are my arms the same length? No. Who said that? One size. Is that what you said? Alright, so what is longer than the other? So when check that out. When you're checking your head cut like this, that's why your haircut's always longer than one side. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but the fact when I try to say that we're not even on both sides. It can happen that one ear lower than the other. One could be farther than the other. You okay? Mm -hmm. So if you want to do a costume tailor, I was talking about, you know, how your act cares about doing costume tailor, no? And doing one of the kind and really looking at detail. Well, this is how you look at detail of your act. You look at people's heads, you're like, I'm going to do one of the, one of the, the same haircut you want, the same, but I'm going to do costume tailor for your head shape. I'm going to be looking at your head shape and actually make it to your head shape. That's the cookie. That's me adding value. Now let me show you. To do that, I'm going to put the comb. I'm going to tell my client that. I'm going to put the comb on the side of the head. And then part it. Because I just went to a class and I learned that. Is it okay you went to a class on or something and talk yes. to your client about it? Yes. Yeah, because before, before I used to just part the head behind here to everybody. Now you just burn everybody. Imagine your client sits on my chair and I just did that. Don't you think they're coming back to you? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that bike line and out of town and they sit on your chair and just part behind the ear after I explain that. What's going to happen? You got no chance to take it away from Angel. Yeah. So Angel raised from 27 to 35, from 35 to 40, to 50, to 65, to 75, to 100 Yay. in two years. <coughs> and it was nurses and teachers paying $100 a haircut. Because right. you go to the same city right now, in Tacoma, Washington, and the highest car cut is 75. When I was charging on the same city 100 20 years ago. Do you think people had 100 dollars to pay that? Right. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. it's I create that by building it right, by adding value, and you can do it too. So it's a, it's a, okay, so now let's think about, oh, so, well, yeah, that's only precision can teacher. No, no, no. French method, <laughs> teacher technique called the blouson, which is like the, to do the pleats for the, for the curtains, that's called the blue something. So basically, they do this. Let me see if you can stand on hard for you. See, but basically, they pull the head down, natural fold, and they do like a push up, and whatever they see like it's opening. You might have seen people doing this on the bench, no? Can you see people doing this? Yeah. Yeah. That's called a blue zone technique to split the, you know, it's going to give you the natural split. Mm -hmm. If you ever, so one, you know, if you ever you get someone, if you ever you get, you know, learn to do condensed cutting technique, they use the blade. They comb the hair a natural fall. They come with the blade around the curve of the head. They take it out until it takes off. It takes off behind the ear. So three out of the four major ways to cut hair, no free form because they don't care about that. They cut with hair with blades. They tell you how to split front to back. They have their own unique way to do it, so they look different than the other thing. But they point to how important that is. Yeah. So let's just start doing that. To start reading faces, and you'll find out that one is on the front or the back. You can cost them. Okay, so okay for the mannequin. You guys learning something? Yes. yes. Cool. All right. So now I'm going to do behind here <coughs> for both of them because we know this. Okay. So now I'm going to be cutting the back of the head. Now most times when you cut hair, you're using a blade, and you're cutting from right to left. You're righty or from left to side. You know that's common cut. You guys notice always that your haircut is short on one side and longer on the other? <laughs> Who still had the problem? Okay, Literally. Okay, I had that problem for 10 years. And I'm like, how in the hell? And I ask everybody, hey, dude, Kevin. You know, after the your class, and it was amazing. Dude, this guy maybe not. So I go, hey, Kevin, dude, I have this problem. Every time I cut the hair, it's so long on this side, it's so longer on the They are like, dude, you know, what you need to get is body position. You gotta make sure you're, you know, your elbows up. Make sure you don't drop the you know, all of that. No, you guys heard that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was in that class too. I thought the freaking class too. <laughs> <laughs> so I was telling people, good, you know, because you're not straight, you're not paying attention, your 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 elbow is dropping. That's why your haircut's getting short too long. I'm like, uh, in which planet? 
So in, in which planet, if you drop the elbow, it's going to be short to long. It's going to be long to short. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm not even checking that. That's why you can you know, give facts to everything. You got to check yourself with your facts, okay? Right, Don't just take right. everything that people tell you, okay? Yeah. This is a lot of, it's yeah. a lot of, I heard from someone and you can do it, you know. All right, so. So a lot of us, what we done to solve the problem is, okay, I'm not going to go from A to B, I'm going to go from A to B and A to B, you know? So I could just split the head and a half. Because the fact is, if you want to mail you out here, I just walk straight and I find you, no? Two seconds, I'm there. In the physical angle, yeah, I'm never going to find you. And the part that you're from me, the part that I get from you. So the longer you travel, the longer you travel carrying, the more you're going to get short to long. So I don't care how good you are, it's you, it's me, and everybody on the planet. You carry, you're pushing. So it's going to go short to long, right. period. So the longer you travel, the more it's going to do that. Yeah. So how, and then how I learned that is so I'm doing and I show, talking about shears, I'm going to sell my shears. <coughs> hey, dude, do you see the little shears? Every time you cut the hair, you push the hair? Uh-huh. Uh, you gotta buy my seven inch blade, so you only cut it one and one time, so you don't push it enough. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, yeah, makes a lot of sense after all that Bologna hair from everybody else. <coughs> so do that, he wasn't even doing hair, he was just kind of using shears, okay. So to make it even better than the split and a half, I'm going to divide the head on the A3 panels. So I'm going to be doing it even a smaller portion of shooting. So I'm going to, you'll see me on the video, and divide this, cut this, cut this, cut this. I don't care if you're righty, if you're lefty, it just doesn't say do right or left, or left or right, I don't care, okay, no? So I'm going to do the same thing so you guys can see it. So this looks complicated. Do I look complicated? No, no. This is like, this is how, this is how easy it is. I got kids in, 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 in South America, doing the freaking anime haircut, on the freaking prints, and they never cut hairs, and they're showing me pictures, and oh, yeah, they did it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how simple it is, okay? So I'm going to, normally, okay, so to do this properly, okay, I'm going to do this that way so you guys can see. You gotta be on the back of the head, you put one foot on the front, you come back. It's like when you're fencing, no? For all you guys, <laughs> you go fencing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, so it's gotta, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, well, you don't wanna do this. This is really bad for your body. Is the goalie, the you know, goalkeeper? No good, this is really bad for you. You put one foot on the front so you can go down, keep the balance, okay? So you wanna be always on the middle back to do this because I wanna get a square haircut. You cut the center and then you stay here, do not come on the round. You stay on the back for a square haircut. Mostly men haircuts, square. If you wanna do a woman's haircut, it's okay to come on the round because you'll get rounded. I'm going to come down so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then, I can come up with my place. I'm going to just do one line and I'm going to just leave the left one. Okay, that's the, I don't want, is that mine? No, I want to use mine. These are, yeah. these are different. Yeah, those are different. They're different, you know, like, the ones I want you guys to check on today is this one. You know why? Because they are called what? Got my name on it. <laughs> 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 the only one don't have my name, so who cares about it? So how they have my name, go figure that. All right, so so this is when you this is French method, okay? I'm showing you guys French guys. Okay? So you comb the head down, you put the comb on the side, and then you do this. This is called you know uh, create a panel. No? This is you know basically creating a they call, they say that you ca you carry hair like you're carrying a piece of fabric. With an accent, like a very good. So, uh, so you just pop from that, and then just you use this finger to place your shear, so you know the air cutting, you know. And then just come up and just cut a straight line, no? Boom, boom, boom. Hello, easy, no? Easy. Could I cut a point cutting? So, so in haircut maybe it's okay. I'm more like point cut, point cut. Now I'm going to show you guys what to do with the razor because that's <coughs> something I want to share with you guys today. And I'm going to cut now the length that I want. So let's say I want to do about this length, you know, kind of the base of the mannequin, which will be kind of the shoulders. I'm going to use a razor blade. You see, I'm not using the handle, I'm just using the razor. Why? More control. Texture. More control. Texture. More control. Mm. Well, how is more control? You don't have to use the handle. Well, who taught you that? Uh, <laughs> but do people do it like this? No. 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 They have the handle and they use the handle. Okay, do I look different than most people? Yeah. Is it better than most people? It's not better, but it's not. It's cool. Do you have more control? Is yeah. it better? Yeah. 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 Like, let's just be honest here. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I, I know about looking different, but I know about, I'm not coming with a freaking fire here, no? You guys see me with a fire here? That's different. Right. No, it has to be different plus better. 
If it's only different, it's just a freaking gimmick. Yeah. I know it's two gimmicks, okay? I need to different plus better. Gotcha. So yes, this is better because I have more control. If you're a heart surgeon, I don't want to cut from here in my heart, no? I want to rely right there. Right. And if this is going to feel, if you already done it, you know this, this is going to feel very organic. You put this blade on your hand, and you're going to feel like a freaking sculpture. You're going to look different than everybody else, and you're going to feel very artistic cutting hair. And you can add to the cookie by saying, I'm going to do, I'm going to use my blade only because it gives me more control. Now you're adding value to your benefit. They know, so the next time somebody comes with it, they don't have as much control. Exactly. Because I'm talking a lot. Right. So I'm bringing it down. So how much action I want on my hair? Well, I like this idea. I can do very long passes, or I can stay less passes. We agree that this is kind of solid kind of form, so I don't want to go heavy, no? So I'm going to kind of stay right across on the line that I want to cut it right there, no? So I'm going to stay basically on the line. Again, you are not going to use the razor on every single client, no? Some clients don't have the tertiary of the hair that it will work for that. And again, using a cutting tool like, you know, maybe <coughs> just take here, it's going to be a good thing for me to be able to cover it. You miss a hair, you just grab it with your finger like this and just bring it up. Simple. So you're afraid to carry the razor, now you shouldn't. Now, because I want to create a straight line, I'm going to put it in front of me <coughs> so I can bring it back to me. Tanya? Yes. What uh, types of hair uh, you like to cut with razor uh, opposed to? Okay, so anybody who's got like really uh, straight hair, like say somebody from Peru, somebody from Korea, somebody from Japan, Asian hair, they'll do very well with this because they need an extra texture. Anybody with really straight hair will benefit from having a razor cut. If you start getting like, <coughs> medium, medium weights, if you wanna, you know, if you want to style it wavy, that's okay too. If you start getting a lot of the, where you see the hair is very dry, or it's got a lot of uh, texture, I won't suggest that. Will you agree with that? Yeah. I think so, huh? right? Most likely all of you have you know, kind of had experience with that. But you know, if you have anybody with Asian hair, they would just go at it with this. They just kind of love that. All right, so very important that you bring the hair back so it can stay square. Let me tell you, if you come here and you cut this straight right here, mm -hmm. when it comes back, it's going to be round. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important that your body stays always straight on the back. Straight on the back, bring it down, compress the hair, do my panel thing, so when I teach this, you know, you know, I make people do that exercise so they get comfortable with that, and then cover it up. And just keep going out, keep going out, keep going out. So you do use the shears in the middle first? No, 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 I, I do the same technique on all of it. I was just proving to you that you could be using anything. So when I, when I, because it's different, different finishes you want to get, no? Right, so, yeah, I have the same, I'm not going to have somebody with a more tension. For this one, I think the razor is not going to work. But I don't want a solid line either, so I'm just going to bring it back to control my panel. Then I'm going to use my finger to hold the shear, see that? And then I go to point cut it. I mean, I already told you, it doesn't matter which tool you use, you choose the tool that it works for that. It's where you cut it, that's the important part. Like I said, you can cut that with the teeth. It will give you a different finish. You know? Did that make sense how I did it? Yeah. The important thing was just cut a straight line. Now, you're going to be the one, the computer's going to tell you, okay, for that hair, you should use here. You are the technician who knows that. You can say, for this one, it's going to be a better eraser for the effect that I want, for the type of hair. For this one, it's going to be better the hair sears. For this one, it could be the texture in sears, and you could actually come out with uh, with the texture, I said, with the, with the thicker teeth and cut it on the same angle like that until I take it off. If you see that, the wolf cut that we just posted in TikTok today, you're gonna to see me doing a whole twist on the hair right on the top and just hack it with this one. I only use that shear to build a haircut. Bam, 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 bam. Boom, boom, bam, fast. And I use that technique, because that makes sense for that, because I want that wispy end, you know? All right, any question about the perimeter cutting here? Simple. All the easy. All right. So now the only thing I need to do is like you know if I choose that I was going to be on the middle of the year or front of the year, I want to come back here to this area on the side and decide how far I want to take my line. So it could be behind the ear from the ear, but I'm just going to leave it like that, like it is, on the back of the ear. And then we're going to be cutting point A to point B. Let's say we want to do what we just say we were going to be around the, the, mouth. the mouth. Okay. So let's go into the mouth. But again, I could start on this area, I could start on this area, I could start on the back. 
if point, point is not be connecting, point A to point B. Point, point B is already there. So I just gotta decide where am I starting based on my conversation, based on how much I think it's going to shrink. So let's just put it down. I'm going to control the hand of the panel. I'm going to put the hair where I want it. And if you have really good blades, like this one from Japan, that actually will cut the hair well. And that's why you need a good tool. Then you put the blade, the blade where you want it, and then you slide cut it. You can slide cut it. Boom. Or you can small cut. It depends on the texture of hair. If you're super thick hair, you can maybe not go like that. But what do you do is you put the hair where you want it. Put the blade out where you want it, and then you start doing needle cuts. You see how I'm doing needle cuts? So you just only cut with that. What you never want to do is close the shears. Never close the shears when you're cutting layers or when you're cutting a frame. Never. Like this. And you gotta learn, get good at just moving the thumb. No? This never moves. You know, that's the stable blade. Now, the good thing about these blades, it allows you to actually do that because they already have your finger position. Okay. Any questions about how I cut this? Now, most hair dressers, if you are right hard cut it, you're gonna be cutting short push long on this side, and then you come back to this side and go long push short. Right. A lot of clients, mm -hmm. including 70% of people, mostly you guys follow you guys here, go down on one side and up on the other. That's precision cutting British. This is French method. French will cut it like this, up. I'm not saying one thing is better than another. I'm just telling you what I, uh, to me, to me, it's better short to long. So I don't like French coming the same like that. I like precision kind of style. But I'm going to do the same technique in both. What is not cool is to French on one side and British on the other. Now it's too international. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come back to this side. And this is the cool thing here now. This guy actually has a part on the side. And I want to have even frame in both sides. I don't want it this way which if you check anybody that's most like how people will have this jacked up so i'm going to over direct the hair on the frame until the point when it's parallel to that because this has to be added to my frame to be able to reach to the same point then i'm going to go natural fall from that point now then i'm going to do the same thing i did on the other side i'm going to figure out where my way line is or my frame line is so it's just right there on the mouth area I'm going to place my blade, and you can see, you know, see my body position, you see my hands straight. I don't get carpal tunnel. I know a lot about carpal tunnel, but if you're ever in a class with me, I'm going to like check on how you do your hands because I want you to be able to continue this for a long time. Place it, and then I just like it off. Or kind of like, uh, like it off, kind of smoke it away. So I see, I see point A and I see point B. Now, if you check my haircut right now, is this a jacked up haircut? Nope. Most people will think yes. Most people will come out here, come back to this corner and say, okay, <laughs> forgot this piece. <laughs> Boom, they trim that next piece there, and now the haircut is this way. Yeah, so when I'm adding to my cookie, do I got to be talking to my client about this? Yeah. And it's okay that you say that you're gonna do this on a class because it makes you look like you're still getting educated. So you say, you know, I just went to a class, so forgive me for the last 30 years that I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to actually comb the hair to this side because I'm going to cut it where it lays because this is where you normally comb it. So now you're going to see that your hair is even in both sides because I did that. Now, with the exception if you have emo hair, hair cut clients, right? you have emo people, then you can bring it over here and cut it right there. And they're cool with that because they just want the face. Okay? Just emo. The rest of the people, they just want it. Okay, you cool with that? All right, we cool? Yes. Simple? Yes. How many haircuts it took me to get to this point? Three. Five cuts, no? Three in the back and two in the side. So I have 70% of my haircut, I'm doing the, the John Wick haircut, then it's going to look like John Wick by the time I'm done, in five cuts. By adding, the, by adding all the stuff I'm telling you about the cooking, is the level of your cutting for long hair right now at the same level as your frame, as your face? So I'm putting you at the same level as your face. Do, I, do you look fast doing it? Yes. yes. Like, you, do you know, do you look like you know what you're doing? Yes. Especially like goofing around, you know, like when you're cutting eggs, we're cutting again because, you know, you know, you know. So we're going to go to the layers. I have all of this in YouTube already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, I, got, I want to see this again. I don't understand the accent. I need that. You put the translator on you know? Huh? That's what you do. <laughs> That's what you do. All right, so I'm going to be cutting the layers first. And something, something I learned when I was a kid 
lucky me again, right time, right place, okay? No, I, I'm maybe 17 years old, huh? I'm, this guy is super famous for you know, in Spain, called Luis Romero, which was my boss there. Won Spiegel Point in Spain as well. The guy said, Angel, when you went to college, it was me and another guy. We were like basically just coming to school, little apprentices, like nobody, you know? But we were working on the mannequin heads because we were taking extra time after everything to work on our mannequin heads. That's what we were doing, because we care. You got to when you guys, and the other guy was called the same as me after, too, it's kind of fun. So he said, hey, you guys gotta cut, when you cut the hair, you gotta cut the hair with legs. You gotta cut the layers where he lays. Has anybody ever heard that before? No. You guys never heard, too, that hey, you gotta cut the hair where he lays. Never heard that? Yeah. Well, yes. yes. You guys yes. heard that, no? Yes. And the same person that's teaching that class, he comes back, grabs the hair, and he does this. Does this look familiar to cut layers to you? Yeah, that's all, all of us, no? Yeah. All day long, can you cut it short to long? Okay, watch this. Watch this, okay, this is mega learning right here. Watch this. this is the problem with the way we cut, because we cut this, and when you have third time, time, you do this, no? Mm -hmm. You learn, you last all the learning. Right. When you do color, you do a color, and you see what happens, and you learn from that for the next time. Oh, I need more red, or oh, I need more whatever, you learn. When you do this and you drop it, you last the learning. You don't know what happens. Let me show you a lot. All right, you cut the angle short to long that we all are. And then watch the hair coming down. What do you see? Short to long. It's what? Bending. Oh, it's bending. It's bending. Yeah. And you see how like it's compiling there? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so you get a freaking way line, no layers, and layers on the bottom. And I know you guys can kind of fix it, you know? It's called like going in. <laughs> 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 I know you guys can fix it. But you're going around the neighborhood to meet Joel. Wow. Yeah, Joel is right here. <laughs> it just goes straight. <laughs> so you cut the hair with legs, it looks like this. We already created the layers that we want. We want to kind of kind of match the parallel of the brain. Too. We want to preserve the perimeter. So you come out here, you pull the hair down where it lays. This is where it lays? Mm -hmm. Oh, just <laughs> Is that cutting the hair with lace? Yes. Okay, do my layers look like they're supposed to? Yes. yes. Okay, now watch this angle on the face. Is that the same goal you cut it? Or is it 100% the opposite? Uh, this is you, this is me. Now let's look at my graphic. <coughs> it's not like this, no? Right. Well, it depends on the length. Now, what do you guys think about that? Right. It makes sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Good. Thumbs up from the pros. I love it. All right. Well, now let's just let's just get a little more creative, okay? Now let's go on this guy. Will you guys agree with me that the comb is longer than your fingers? Yes. It's a left, it's a straight on my finger. Yeah. So it's longer and a straighter. <laughs> okay. Okay, and now I work the center. I'm going to work on one of the sides, no? So I got center, right and left. Okay, do I have control over the hair? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm not even there. Still under control. Do I spray do I spray the hair better than if you put it on my fingers? Yeah. Because yes. I'm not collapsing it. Yeah. Okay, do you see my lens there on the bottom? Yeah. Can I take it to the angle that I want on my lens? Yeah. Can I just cut it right there? Yeah. Do I look different than you? Yeah. Cutting the same hair. The cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But is, it, but is it just different, or is it different plus better? Yeah. Under fifty dollar haircut. <laughs> Depends how many clients you have, and, and how good are you at getting clients, keep getting clients, getting rid of all the bad ones, and getting the best ones coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Because people, people don't tell you when you can stop. But until then. Can you do it one more time? Of course, I'm going to do it. Two more times because I need to do this side and I want to show you the time. <laughs> now right here. It's on now on this side, huh? So I got to grab it, huh? 
And so this is condensed cutting using the twinkle mm -hmm. technique. Bring it out. You see my guy there on the bottom? I figure out what my guy is. Bam. And then you put the Could I use the razor there? Yes. Could I use the clipper there? Yes. Remember, we're cutting a pattern on wet, wow. and then I have to tailor the style. Right. So, but you know, if, if guess ever, anybody ever seen anyone sculpting a piece of wood into an eagle or something like that? You guys seen that people doing that? Because they have a big chunk of wood, and they want to make an eagle. Do you see them coming with a chisel? Mm -hmm. No, what they do first? Chainsaw. They come with a freaking chainsaw, like, whack, you know? And then they come with a chisel. That's what I just did. And it's kind of only a rudimentary, don't touch your clients. <laughs> but you guys get the point, no? You answer that? Did you, did you come up with that or? or? No, this I learned from Philip Wilson. Again, right place, right time, no? But I got to teach it for some 15 years. This and the French and the precision cutting and the French method and the pre -pump. All of them, you need all those pieces to do what I just showed you. But if you learn all the three pieces, and you leave the process, and you know how to do it, you can do anything. Do it faster, looking better, and faster, or better. Yeah. You cut all your layers that way, in that kind of? Yeah, but again, you just go to YouTube, and watch me doing this, oh, not all of the layers. I just show you, like the one I did, the backy, yeah. yeah. I didn't cut it like that, I cut a different technique, that it makes more sense for that particular right. design. I'm going to do, so my goal is to make you do well here, in two seconds, the fast. I just don't want to go around the neighborhood. I mean, so what's, I'm going to make decisions based on all the tools that I have, which tool I'm going to use, which right. I'm going to use. Same thing with color. Which technique of color is going to be the most effective with color? All of it is part of that. Obviously, you have to know all the pieces, but you guys are pros. And if you're missing a piece, you should figure out how to learn that piece. You know? That's all it is. But a lot of times, you can be going around the neighborhood because you don't have the right coaching. Right. You're not the right person. And for people these days, then they are working on freaking studios by themselves. Like, right. what is the, what's going to, let me tell you what's going to happen. So let's go to another movie. You guys ever seen the Hunger Games? Yes. Okay, do you guys notice what happened with the society there? It's two types of society, no? Yeah. People with money and people with no money. Exactly. Well, it's going to happen the same thing with hair styling. Huh. And you said what happened to the hair? The people with money, they do crazy hair, no? True. Yeah. We, we thought it was crazy, you know, that guy with the beard like that. Right. Now, there's, there's still a lot of people are doing that. Right. And what else is cool? You know, put pink hair, blue hair, beard, blue beard. That was crazy. Right. Ten years ago, the only, you know, David Bowie might do that. But now, it's becoming mainstream. Let me cut the sides here really quick. Because he needs a different teaching there. Where I put my stuff? I'm well known for leaving my stuff somewhere. I'm going to find it again. Keep track. Okay, so the so the back so watch this. So my goal, my goal on the three panels of the head was to create the layers on this point, no? Because I was going to leave the bottom <coughs> solid, no? So I, I'm going to check it, no? Did, did Uncle did what he said? Okay, so this is my hair from the panel down. So my hair is all the way from here down. See that? It's all solid. So all of this is being preserved into a solid piece. This is solid. If you look at it from the side, this is solid. See that? Mm -hmm. Solid. And my legs is whatever. And now the size is different because now I only had two panels of the outfit and I'm missing the third panel. So I cut in a graduation this way, no? What's going to happen if you continue this graduation around the head? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you continue this graduation, well, I'm right going to make a huge hole here yeah. behind here. Like, it's like, I mean, gone, the hair. So I cannot continue, gra that's why one haircut on the front, one haircut on the back. It's two different haircuts to achieve the look that you want. Right. You can't go across with the same thing. Right. Even though they tell us that. You can't. You can't. So I already cut the frame. So I'm going to leave that out of the way. I don't need to cut that. Right. It's already cut. If you cut it in there, you just clean a hole. Cut it because it's already done. Now I'm going to preserve the thickness and on top of my ear. So I don't need to cut anything. If you cut it in there, you destroy your print. <coughs> so my legs are going to be sitting on this part. Now let's see what the haircut, I didn't show you guys the graphic from the front, you, you know, it's a different haircut graphic from the front.